Hey guys, it's Vadim with Max Tech and welcome to our Mac Mini Buyer's Guide because the new M4 Mac Mini is by far the most exciting Mac update this year, but a lot of people are confused about which model and which upgrades to buy because honestly, Apple made it a little bit confusing, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one is right for you. For mistake number one, absolutely do not buy the 256 gig base model. That is too little storage because if you fill it up and you don't notice, your system is gonna start to slow down dramatically for two reasons. First of all, when SSDs get full, the transfer speeds actually slow down a lot. For number two, Apple uses SSD swap memory, which means that when your RAM is full, it actually takes a chunk of your storage as temporary RAM, and if your storage is also full, it's gonna be extremely slow so I'd say upgrade to at least 512 gigs. Now for mistake number two, don't feel like you have to get the M4 Pro chip model for the extra performance because in reality, the M4 base model is as fast as the previous 12 core upgraded M3 Pro chip in the $2,200 Mac Pro. And I honestly think that it's enough for most people. And yes, the M4 Pro does have more graphics performance, but if you're only doing some light video and photo editing every now and then, I think it's honestly enough because it should handle a lot of the more simple video editing tasks. So save your cash and try out the M4. Now for number three, for people that are buying the M4 Pro model, do not feel like you should max it out with 64 gigs of RAM just because it's there and you think it makes sense for future proofing. Believe it or not, the current Mac that I'm using for editing YouTube videos and thumbnails for our channel is actually the Mac Studio with the M1 Max chip and 32 gigs of RAM, and it's been completely fine and it doesn't slow down. Now for number four, don't let all of the power button Mac Mini drama stop you from buying the new Mac Mini. This one's actually really funny because people are complaining nonstop. Yes, the button is on the bottom, but a lot of people are making it seem like you literally have to pick it up, flip it over, and turn it on. In reality, Apple actually showed off how it works in their short YouTube intro video. You simply reach your finger under the edge feel the button and press it as easy as that. Now for number five, if one of the only reasons you're upgrading to the M4 Pro Mac Mini over the M4 model is the new Thunderbolt 5 ports, you need to stop and think about how much it actually matters. First of all, the super fast 120 gigabyte per second speed only works for display support, powering high-end monitors with daisy chaining. But for data connection, the limit is actually 80 gigabits per second, which can be useful for external SSDs and external GPUs. But the issue is that Apple Silicon Max will never support eGPUs again, so there's that. And there's currently no Thunderbolt 5 SSDs on the market right now. Right now on Amazon, this super portable one terabyte SSD with Thunderbolt 3 support is only $170. I'll leave the link down below. Now moving on to mistake number six, I know I said in my previous video that the 14 core upgraded M4 Pro chip is now the fastest Mac ever in terms of CPU performance, but don't make the mistake of assuming that it's anywhere near as fast in terms of graphics performance. Because if that's what you need for things like 8K video editing, photo editing, gaming, or 3D rendering, you actually do want either a Max or Ultra chip. But first, our sponsor Fume has an amazing sale on their award-winning flavored air device that removes the bad from your habit. There's no vapor, no nicotine, and no batteries, just all natural delicious flavors which makes replacing your bad habit easy with an adjustable airflow dial and magnets for fidgeting. We've been using it here in the office for almost a year and we love it. So try Fume today by heading to tryfume.com slash maxtech or scan the QR code and use code maxtech to take advantage of their Black Friday and Cyber Monday deal where you can buy one journey pack and get a second one for 70% off. Apple said that the M4 Pro is 1.5 times faster than the M2 Pro, which means it gets around 121,000 points in Geekbench 6's Metal Graphics test while the M2 Max Mac Studio gets 145,000 points and the M2 Ultra Mac Studio gets 222,000. So don't just assume that the M4 Pro also has a crazy fast GPU that can compete. 
Now for number seven, I've seen a lot of people complain about the headphone jack placement on the front of the Mac mini, but that's actually great because my co-host Ben uses wired headphones for video editing on his Mac studio, which has the headphone jack on the back, but it ends up being so far away that the cable isn't long enough. So he now literally uses a USB-C to headphone jack adapter plugged into the front USB-C port so he can use his wired headphones. So the Mac mini is actually great with the headphone jack placement. And finally for mistake number eight, don't forget that the Mac mini does not come with accessories in the box. So you gotta pay an extra $100 for the Magic Mouse and at least 100 for the keyboard. But on top of that, you also need a display. So if you don't already have one, you have to get one. And if you want a very nice Apple display, the studio display is $1,600 which makes it $2,600 total unless you find a used display. And at that point, it actually makes sense to buy the M4 iMac instead for only $1,300 or $1,500 depending on the storage since it comes with a nice 24 inch 4.5K Apple display built in, assuming that you don't need the M4 Pro chip, of course. And now with those mistakes out of the way, let's get into the buyer's guide, starting off with who should be buying the base M4 Mac Mini and which upgrades I recommend. First of all, I think the M4 Mac Mini is perfect for anybody who needs a simple computer at home in your home office. The M4 Mac Mini is absolutely perfect because it's very, very cheap. And even if you need to do some productivity work like video editing, photo editing, the M4 chip is finally more than fast enough to do a lot of that work and at a great price. That's who I would recommend the base M4 Mac Mini for. In terms of the upgrades, I'd say get at least 512 gigs of storage for everybody, but get one terabyte if you wanna keep it long-term. Photo editors should absolutely be upgrading to at least 24 gigabytes of RAM, which is gonna speed up that performance. And same for people who like to have tons of tabs open while also doing productivity or editing work. And also don't forget 10 gigabit ethernet if you have fiber internet at home or if you use a server. And now let's move on to the people who should upgrade to the M4 Pro chip version of the Mac Mini. Well, that's for people who were looking at the Mac Studio, but are thinking of saving money and your need CPU performance, like let's say you're doing music production, programming, CPU rendering, or anything like that. The CPU performance is absolutely insane, but don't forget to upgrade to the 14 core version if you want it to be faster than the M2 Ultra. And for that machine, I'd say at least one terabytes of storage because you're probably gonna keep it longer since you spent more money on it and absolutely do not get more than two terabytes. I think it's a waste of money and a lot of people end up paying for four or eight and they never even use two terabytes. So you should rather just instead buy a two terabyte Sabrin SSD for only 200 bucks if you find yourself getting too high in terms of storage so you can back up some of your files. And now for those of you who really need the fastest graphics performance, I would honestly recommend skipping the M4 Pro Mac Mini and going straight to the M4 Max MacBook Pro or wait for the Mac Studio coming between March and June. So there you guys go. That was our M4 Mac Mini Buyer's Guide. And if you still have questions on which one to buy, ask down below in the comments. Once again, thanks for Fume for sponsoring this video. Definitely check out their Black Friday sale. Definitely subscribe for more videos like this when we actually start testing the Mac Mini and check out one of those two right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.